Hey guys, um, I'm back, and I stole some of my mom's lip splash, so that's what I'm wearing right now. But we are going to be doing a video with Crystal Rose. Hello! Hi. Um, I'm going to be doing the makeup on her face, and then we're going to be talking about the derma... Dermatillomania. Dermatillomania. I know, it's a mouthful, sorry. <laughs> I'm just ridiculous, but dermatillomania. And we're going to try out the, um, fantastic, the fantastic flawless four, sorry. Uh, my comic references are coming out, but it's not the Fantastic Four, it's the Flawless Four on her, um, on her arm, okay? So, we're gonna get started, we're gonna do her face first. And now, I'm gonna put you on up here. Okay. And, um, we already, Crystal washed her face mm -hmm. with an exfoliator. Which was and, really nice. Yes, and, um, I spritzed some of the rose water toner on her face and we're letting that dry and once that's dry we're going to start with the primer as your face nope everything's dry okay so all right this should be fun first start in so again the pea size amount of primer and mind you i don't do makeup much so this should be fun <laughs> i'm excited <laughs> all right so <laughs> yes. This one smells good too. It all smells good. It's really great. I kind of like that it smells good too because it's also not really strong. Mm -hmm. Um the fact that it's not really like that strong odor, like sometimes you feel of like certain perfumes and stuff, like I have asthma. So, like, the fact that it's not super strong smelling, that really is a good benefit for me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fantastic. I never even thought of that before. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're waiting for, because that has to set for five minutes. Oh, so, okay. while we are waiting for that, I'm going to start with her eyebrows. Yes, yes. Don't mind that. That was just Captain Falcon. He's just agreeing with everything. <laughs> also guest starring Captain Falcon. <laughs> oh, the geek references. No, this might be a little too dark for you. Because you're more blonder. Turn towards me. You're not going to do too much because she has great eyebrows, too. And then I think mine look like the caterpillar sometimes. Yeah, well, that's okay. Like a medium might be better for her because she's a little bit more blonder. I had an itch on my nose, that's why I'm like. Oh, that's okay. It. That's why I'm like, I know not to rub it, but that's why I'm dabbing. Smart. You see, we got Chris here. She's a smart little girl. <laughs> All right. All right. I think that's okay. You know what? We're gonna do her mascara first, just Ooh. to give it a little bit more time. Are you okay with mascara? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. This is how you're making my eyelash. Oh yeah. This could be fun. My, ash my eyelashes are super long, so this should be interesting. Alright, so we're going to start with the gel. Can you leave my eyes uh, open or closed? Open. Blink. 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 Look down a little bit. Not that much. Sorry guys, I've never done someone else's makeup before. Look down. Blink. Blink. Alright. Oh man, look at that eyelash, baby. Look at that some bitch. Sorry. No bitches. Unless they're sexy, then we're all good. And which everybody is, so. Yes. But, I mean, I shouldn't curse. Because we're nice over on, over in Vicky land. Sometimes. All the time. Crystal Rose. I'm just saying. If someone starts something with us, then, you know, sometimes we gotta get feisty. Yes. That's true. Ah, Falcon agrees. Your eye? No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, 
all of a sudden West Side Story just popped in my head. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's alright, it's good. I um, just poked Crystal in the face. Well, good thing to know it's not burning my eyes, so that's always a good plus. Uh huh, close your eyes. I am uh, really sorry, Chris. I'm not. <laughs> uh oh. I'm scared to look at the camera. <laughs> Turn up, look up, look up. Grab all of this. Let me go to my left. All right. Blink. Blink. And blink. And blink. And blink. Oh. Sorry, Chris. I'm not very good. I've never had to put makeup on someone before. Alright, this is why I'm not a makeup artist. Okay. Alright. Alright, now, we're going to fix that later. Try not to blink so hard because you're getting your wet lashes all over your face. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we will fix this later, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Other eye, turn towards me, please. Oh, don't do it again. Alright, here we go. Now, I was going to say, before, no, before no. I turn around, no. no. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you okay with this? I was going to say, did you want to set it first or did you want to try it? Someone is too much for me. Okay. And now I'm gonna go get a Q-tip so we can fix her her lash situation. I'm sorry she didn't. Uh, I'm sorry she didn't take the mirror with you. No, it can be fixed. <laughs> well, I mean that's one way to look like a raccoon. <laughs> oh wow! I just realized how dark my eyes really were. I really do need makeup. Oh man, I look like I got a black eye. <laughs> and no, not from her makeup, from my actual natural sags and bags. Looking up close, it actually looks like I do have a black eye from, from all my natural. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, now, you have to remember that I'm a noob at this. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's why it's going off. Sorry, Falcon, but you're being dismissed. Okay, close your eyes. Wait, look up. Oh, close. Open. All right. Here now look. Okay. 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 It's pretty amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, if she's doing it herself, it might be a little easier for her to get more of the the, the product on. But like I said, I'm very much a noob. Okay. So her foundation is definitely definitely set. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now this um foundation is for my skin okay. so it might just be a little a little off but she's only a little darker than me so we can always fix that up with bronzer yeah yeah i haven't uh i haven't gone outside much lately <laughs> except for work so 
You know, sometimes sometimes it's nice to get out a little bit. Sometimes we're gonna start out with four. Towards towards me, please. Mm -hmm. No, ma. Look up. Like that, I yeah. suppose. That smells good too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't be comfortable all day knowing you smell good. Right? And we're just buffing. If I were a car, though, I'm going to be a badass tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hands down. If I were a car, I'd be a badass tomorrow. <laughs> not like Turn towards me, please. Not like the newer ones, I mean like classic Camaro. You know. <laughs> you just never know what to do. Alright, I don't think that's that bad. Mm -hmm. I have a color. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now, do you want concealer? Or do you think just the foundation is fine? Uh, what would the concealer do? Um, hide a little bit more some of the. Marks and okay. here on dry eyes. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. Because I know I, I seriously, if you look at it, you can see like the yellow and the purple, and I'm like, I really look like I got knocked out a couple of times. No, nah, okay. she looks booty pump as always. She look like I got in a couple of fights. Although with my mom, she probably wouldn't be surprised. My mom wouldn't be surprised if I did. Right. No, if I'm hurting you. No, nope, you're good. some lotion. It's a little dry. Right, turn towards me. Look up. I'm jealous because her concealer is turning out way better than mine. Yeah, so you can also use your dominant hand here. See, I'm nearsighted. I'm like desperately nearsighted, so. Okay. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna get out my setting powder. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't even. I, I, if you noticed at the beginning, I had a little red spot here. Don't even see it. Alright. Hmm, okay. That was the. Um, Concealer, and now we're going to come back in with the setting powder. Open your eyes, please. Oh. Sorry, I had a, one of Crystal's hair that fell in here, and I was trying to blow it out, but... See, like the powder stuff? 
you do the powder stuff and I'm gonna keep memoirs mm -hmm. in your bum. Uh, this movie I love. It's actually a book too, um, Memoirs of a Geisha. It's oh, so okay. it reminds me it reminds me like you're just like doing the makeup on a geisha and I'm like, Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> And like when you were doing the eyebrows, it reminds me of like the practices um, ancient Egyptians would do too. Because oh. they would do that. They would do the. They would have no, like no eyebrows. They would, you know, purposely shave them, and then do the dark, the really dark lines around their eyes and their eyelashes and their eyebrows, because it helped keep the sun out of their eyes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Mm. Okay, so while her powder is setting, we're gonna do her lips. Uh oh. So, we have some options here. We have the usual lip stains. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the saucy, mm -hmm. which is the red that I was wearing yesterday. Okay. And we have the shy, which is the pink that I like to wear all the time. It's a really good. You can't really see. Oh yeah. I wear. You see me mm -hmm. in my pictures. Hmm. Let's see. What should I do? Should I do red or should I do pink? Hmm. Hmm. Hey Amanda. Sorry about this. Hey mom, Aunt Lori, thank you. Alright, I wonder if, uh... Oh, and thank you, Emmy, hey, for watching. I wonder what they think. Would I do a red or should I do a pink? Saucy or shy, ladies? Yeah. Chime in, what do you think? From Miss Crystal here. My cuzzy cut. Hmm. Bum, 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 I was going to say, bum, I can't read what they're saying. Bum, no one's answered back yet. Oh, oh, what's that say? Go for it, saucy. Uh, Amanda oh. votes saucy. Okay, and this is, Amanda is in? No, not your Amanda. Okay. Um, She is my sponsor sponsor. Oh, okay. So, hello. Hello. My sister's name is Amanda, and I can't read from here, so that's why I was asking. I, I, she says saucy. Okay, well, we got to vote. So you ready? You want red? Oh yeah. So we can I'm okay with this. Off. I'm okay with this. Don't worry. Alright, go like this. Uh, a little more gently. Just like that. That's perfect. Oh, uh, no, I forgot the primer for the lips. Might kind of blot together a little bit. Not too much. Okay. Now we're gonna wait for that to, to dry. Oh no. You're looking pretty badass here, Chris. I'm gonna send a should send a picture to all my, my buddies on my face. Your account. buddies. Hey, yes. hey, hey. They all well actually all of them except for two have girlfriends. Just chill. Chill. Alright, so I think it's set enough. We're gonna wipe off the powder. Open your eyes, please. I'm gonna smear that John around a little bit. <laughs> a little bit up, a little bit up. It's so soft, it feels like I'm being brushed by a chinchilla. A chinchilla! All right, now we're gonna do the blush. Ooh. You look gorgeous. I'm so excited. All right, do the fish face. <laughs> Now the beachfront bronzer, we're going to do a little bit of contouring, some contouring. Lena says, it's, says hi to, hi Lena, that's her daughter. Oh, oh is that the cute little, no wait, no that's Emmy's I, daughter. I was thinking of Emmy's daughter. She is adorable. adorable. They're both adorable. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen the other one yet, but I've seen, I've seen Emmy's daughter. She's yeah. adorable. We haven't been friends very long. Doesn't mean it won't flash for a while, don't worry. <laughs> Alright. 
and now in the hollows of her cheeks. They feel so nice and soft. Yes. And like as an art student, like I always like playing with the brushes because especially the really fluffy, like the like the really smooth rat tail. Yeah. Like the, the rat fur brushes, they were mm -hmm. so soft. That's. I know it's not, but it feels like that kind of softness. Hmm. These are synthetic. Yes. They're a lot better because um, they last a lot longer than natural hair brushes, especially through the cleaning and the makeup. They're true. better. These are all synthetic. But they feel like real thing, which is really mm -hmm. nice. Because some synthetics, they just really rough. coarse and they're really firm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. definitely feels a lot, Thank a lot better. You. Um, and now I'm going to br blend. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now we're going to highlight... You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like one of those old school, um, was it like makeup, like Barbie makeup games from like the PC when we were like little kids. And this reminds me of like one of those. Which is not a bad thing. I mean, hey, everybody likes to play pretty and dress up sometimes, right? Me all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tomboy at heart, so. <laughs> Right, Chris. Did you want eyeshadow, hmm. or do you think the bold lips enough? Personally, with me, my my personal taste. If I'm doing a bold lip, I do a little bit of a simpler of an eye. But that is every woman in each their own. Hmm. Do you like it? I do like it. So I'm thinking, because you know, right now I think I think because uh, I'm not I'm not a big makeup person myself. So I think while I'm doing this, it's probably, <laughs> my, my whole concept in the back of my brain is probably like, go big or go home. <laughs> go big or go home. So that's what I'm thinking. I think I might as well, oh, while I'm doing this, I yeah. might as well sport the whole thing, right? So I think, right. I think it's, well, I'm having fun, right? So. Besides, I, I, I like to be a bit feisty, so. Now what I'm doing is taking a very light color. It's called Elated. It's matte. And I'm putting it all over her eye very lightly to give myself a nice base to work with. Alright, turn towards me, please. Alright. Do I get to choose? Yeah, I'll let you choose. <laughs> if you didn't see that, I just wagged my eyebrows at her in anticipation. Yeah, she's like, mm-hmm. When I get home, I'm probably going to have to put contacts in just so I could sport all of this without my uh, glasses getting in the way. And now this, the first color I used was Chipper. It's a matte brown. The second color I'm using is Brassy. It's a bit of a light, goldy, shimmer color. Ooh, that sounds awesome. I like me too, Shimmer. Now, I'm not very good at eye makeup, so when I do it, what I do is I take a dark color and kind of accentuate, close your eyes please, turn towards the camera, kind of accentuate the V right here with the darker color, blend it in a little bit. 
and then I go back over and I use probably one more color and go in through the rest of the lid and kind of blend in a little bit. Come towards me, please. Well, all right, I think that's it. If you wanted to look and see, hopefully I did it okay to your to your expectations. I'm not very good at it yet. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah. All right. I did my best, folks. I did my best. Yeah, I do see the gold color. Yeah. Nice. What do you think, guys? Or girls, I should say. Everybody. In the Everybody. Hey, trees. Thanks for joining in. All right, so I think that's your finished look, Chris. Okay. Does everyone like it? So we did the flawless for the primer, concealer, foundation, and our brush. And we applied that to her face. And then we took our Behold setting powder, which I did not show you guys. And we baked that under her eyes and all of the spots where I used her concealer and her more oily most um, spots like in her T-zone and her chin mm -hmm. and then I went back over we did her mascara of course and her eyebrows I did a little bit and then we did her lips in a um, stiff saucy. upper lip lip stain and it's in saucy so I think she looks fan freaking tastic I think she looks amazing and of course we did her eyes in the Moonstruck Addiction palette number one and we only used we used three colors we used a very very pale um, matte color called Elated. It's the very first one from, um, well, it's the lightest one on the, on that side. It's my right, but I don't know what side it is for you guys. Uh, that one. Yep. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. And then we used the lighter brown from the lat, from the other side. And we used the glitter one. There's a little glitter shimmer one that's chipper and a brassy. And that's it. Three, 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 three eye colors on her eyes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I think she looks amazing. <laughs> All right. So that's her face look. Now, do we want to move on and talk about your um, derma dermatillomania? I'm sorry, dermatillomania. I'm I'm really bad with words, guys. Okay, do you look bad with my glasses? No, it looks amazing with your glasses. Alright, so All right. Crystal, if you want to take over from that, right. start talking about the dermatillomania. Oh, That'd be great if I could see you through the glasses, right? They're a little dirty, guys. Yeah. We make a flying everywhere here. Now, with the dermatillomania, um, I figured, Victoria and I talked to her about it, um, mm -hmm. we, we figured we could take this opportunity to um, try and help some people out. Um, uh, dermatillomania, or skin picking disorder, or... Um, uh, I believe it's actually called an uh, excursion disorder as well. Um, this is actually something I've lived with um, for quite a while now. Um, I'm 23. I've started around the age of 10. Um, <coughs> it, <coughs> it's um, classified Excuse as... Excuse me, guys. That's right. It's classified as a body repetitive... Um, body focused repetitive disorder, sorry. And um, pretty much when... People like me get stressed out. Um, I have anxiety, you know, de anxiety, depression, you know, a lot of things, a lot of stress. Um, a lot of people who have um, body focused repetitive disorders, um, they, they just kind of, they use it to get their mind off of it. So with me, with the dermatillomania, um, I just end up just, you know, just end up scratching away. And it's just, it, you know, it helps, you know, sometimes it feels like, um, like the fact that you know it, it distracts me for a long time and I don't have to worry about it um you know um the problem is with that of course there's you know there's always a backlash of things I mean you're technically you know you're technically hurting your body um and then it just ends up being a cycle you get more stressed out about it and then you end up you know you you end up keep doing it because you're so stressed out um with mine, with the with the body repetitive disorders, um, it can go as far as nail biting or hair pulling, like for your hair or your eyebrows, you know, your eyelashes. And some people don't understand that it's a deeper, um, a deeper thing than just what you're doing. Um, with me, um, I've lived, like I said, I've lived through this for about 13 years now, um, and I'm not. 
I, it's gotten to the point in my life, I used to be embarrassed about it. I used to be scared about it. Um, I used to always wear, like, I hate long t-shirts. It drives me nuts. But I used to wear my t-shirts um, enough to cover it up. And um, if you notice, um, it's actually gotten down to my forearm now. So t-shirts only go up to here, and it makes it difficult to cover now. Um, but it's got, I've gotten to my point in my life and more to now where it's like, this is my body. Why should I care what anybody else thinks? Um, you know, it's, you know, it's still hard for me to go out sometimes. Um, like right now wearing a, a, um, a tank top, um, that's a rare occasion for me now. I used to wear tank tops all the time. I used to wear spaghetti straps all the time. And when I was a kid, I didn't care. Um, but now, you know, now I don't care either. But during that, like, when you're in middle school and you're in high school, you're trying to find your place in the world. And with that, you know, you, you don't want people to judge you. So you, you're trying to try and find your best place to fit in and stuff like this. It makes it very hard. Um, but now that I'm a young adult, I, you know, I want to try and help people find their place to fit in too, but also love their bodies. You know, it's, you know, you, you want to love yourself. You want to be able to, you know, you want people to love you, yes, but the first and foremost person you should love the most is yourself, at least. So, um, with that being said, um, and then what Victoria and I are going to be doing today, it's not just for people with dermatilia, uh, dermatillomania or extrusion disorder. Um, some people, for example, some people go through surgeries. Um, they have scars. I had a friend who's had plenty of surgeries and she was very self-conscious about her scars. I still loved her to death. She's such a sweetheart. Um, but I've seen people with like scarring on their shoulders, scarring on their necks for, for even surgery or from um, random things. Um, my buddy, he's had plenty of scars on his legs. Of course, he's a guy. He doesn't care. But some, some males and females, of course, do. You know, they very, some people can be very self-conscious about that. Um, with me, I, I, I like wearing dresses. But I, I got so used to dressing like a boy to hide my scars, I don't get to feel like a pretty lady anymore. You know, and I, I want to change that. That's definitely something I want to change. So, I figure if, um, if people have the same situation I do, where they have it all across their arms, all across their chest, their face, um, perhaps maybe um, makeup stuff like this, like the Unique's brand and all that, hopefully that could help. And you were explaining to me earlier how it's all naturally made, that there's no chemicals mm -hmm. or anything like yep, that. Yep. Um, of course, people with uh, dermatillomania, sometimes they have like open sores, open scars, um, makeup and stuff like that. Even some, um, uh, even some medicines can hurt if it gets into open sores. Um, so like natural stuff would probably be best for sores and scars like that. Um, it might even be able to help the healing process even. Because, um, you know, some makeup has, like some of the natural stuff has like coconut oil or coconut, you know, Stuff like that, like peppermint oil, um, it'll be able to, it might be able to dry out your oiliness to, call, to stop causing from breaking out so much. Mm -hmm. So that might be a good thing too. It might not be just to conceal, but to help heal in the process as well. Mm -hmm. um, yes, our rose water <laughs> um, is definitely, it helps minimize the pores, it helps with excess oil. And you smell it's, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's really amazing. So... Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the concealer, with the primer, I mean, excuse me. And we're going to rub okay. that on her, her arm here. So, of course, I have the shoulder here. Uh, the shoulders are a big part of where I tend to um, scratch and pick at. So, this is going to be our pretty much our practice zone here. going to be our big canvas. <laughs> All right. Let that set a little bit and then we're going to I'm going to tell you a little bit while that we wait for that to set. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do. We're going to use our concealer here in scarlet. 
and we're gonna put that over. Now a lot of people, if you've watched any anyone's um, unique videos, if you've seen it online, um, a lot of people use this for tattoos, for work. So I'm really, um, this is the first time, you know, we've tried to do something like this, so um, we're not sure, of course, 100% how it's gonna turn out, but I'm really, um, I'm really confident that it's gonna, it's gonna work really well. So, fingers crossed, ladies and gents, fingers crossed. Now, I thought I was going to use a flatter brush, but I'm going to use our liquid foundation brush. Hmm. How does that feel? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty spiffy. And then, like, another thing with uh, the Dermatillomania, um, what's pretty nice about this, um, Sometimes if you just see like a previous sore or a previous scar, sometimes like that can trigger um, wanting to scratch more. So even covering up just to help you not think about it can always be a good thing too. It's not the fact that you don't love your body, but it could be part of your healing process. Everybody has their own ways of doing things. So it could just mean it could be a different way for you for a process. Yeah. Like, already looking at it from here, I don't know if you can really see from how the, the light is, but already looking at it here, it looks a lot, rest, lot less red. Um, it definitely is blending in, and it looks like I have actually a really nice tan. <laughs> I'm just going to keep working it so it blends in with our skin tone a little bit better. It blends in with my little farmer's tan up here pretty good. Alright, did I hurt you? No, no, you're good. I'm I feel like I'm scraping her with the, the metal part. Oh, no. No, you're doing pretty good. It's actually so soft, like, I, it's, I just, it, it's actually giving me, like, a nice little massage. Good. Now I think I'm going to go back through with a little bit more of the concealer and dot over some of the, the darker ones. Now of course you're still going to be able to see the bumps, but yeah. like Crystal was explaining, just not being able to see it could really help and just make her feel more comfortable. It's less noticeable. You know what I mean? Yeah, when you're when you're walking around like in a store or something, like to be honest, nobody really notices you unless you want to be noticed. So when when you're walking around, um, you know, some some people don't really like even if you don't have the makeup on, some people don't really notice you because they're going about their own business. But you know, when it's so out there sometimes then some people you know there are rude people out there there are mean people out there but you know that doesn't mean you have to listen that there's there's no reason for you to have to listen to what they have to say if they if all they can say is something mean um Very the, true. you know the whole the whole point of this it's you know it's not to conform to them it's to be happy with you exactly no no truer words chris I'm 
it's either. It ran away from me. How are you feeling? I'm doing pretty good. It's pretty light, so it doesn't even feel like I'm, I'm wearing makeup on my shoulder or oh, anything good. at all. So that's pretty nice. And same thing with my face, too. Like, I've noticed with previous makeups, like those high-end brand makeups that, you know, you, you feel like you have 10 pounds of weight on your face after you're done. And I don't even feel like I'm wearing makeup. So, I mean, that's great. That's something I definitely like. And as it's setting, it's, it's a lot softer, too. Mm -hmm. What's nice about this is because even though she's doing it in layers, it still actually, it still looks like some of the, the scarring is actually, you, there are a few bumps here and there, but she, it's more like evening out the scars too, so that it looks like there's a lot less scars than there really are. Um, I could do a close-up on my other side to really show you how many scars I really have from over the last 13 years, and compared to the other side, it, there is a big difference. Taking my big fluffy brush and swooshing it around a little bit. Oh, the fluff. That does feel good, though. Good. <laughs> All right. Oh, I well. think we're finished. Okay. So, so what do you think? So the pre, the pre, the, the you can take it off of the thing if you want. That's true. So the prior of what it looked like was this is my other side. So you see all the different, you know, you see the scars and all that. So this is all the redness and the scarring. That's from my other half. So what she just did was, you see, you could still see a little bit of the redness, but considering the difference, the big difference otherwise, on the other half, you know, it's, it's much, you know, it, there's a big difference. You know, even... Like, you could still see a few of the bumps and all that, which is normal. It should be normal. I mean, they're, they're raised scars. You can't really do anything about that. But other than that, I mean, the just the difference. Um, walking outside, I can guarantee you someone probably noticed the other half before they would notice this one. So. I'm okay. I'm happy with that. Good. I'm glad it turned out well. And, yes. you know, I'm not the... I'm not a makeup genius, like, you know, I've said it before, but I, I always try my best, and, you know, maybe there's a different technique, a better technique than the one that I used, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, it, you're satisfied. Yes. I am very good. Because even, even looking at that, it's like, it, it makes me think that it's almost healed, and then some, some people, um, when, when it's almost healed to me, I try very hard. It's very difficult for, for me. I try very hard not to, to go after it, to scratch it. So with me, it looks like it's almost healed. It's like, leave it be. Leave it be. It's getting there. Whereas like you see like the darker ones and the fresh ones. Like I said, if it if it looks... Some people with dermatomania, um, or even with the body focus repetitive disorders, um, I've read that um, if your brain... If you process it thinking it's some kind of imperfection with your body, that's why you try and do that. You try and get rid of it. Your body's trying to, your brain is trying to tell you to get rid of that imperfection, which is a shame because quite frankly, we're, in, in our society, especially now, we're told, oh, we have to be perfect. We have to do everything just right to be just perfect that, you know, we, we practically grow up thinking we're never going to be perfect and we're our brains are just saying no you have to you have to be perfect when we're we're human we're flawed we're always going to be flawed and that's you know you can never have that you, you can never be perfect and there's never going to be an opportunity for that and that's what I love about unique is that they're not focused on okay cover it up cover it up cover it up you know mm -hmm. it's it's about Accentuating. Sorry. Oh my God, guys. I have I have cold brain. Excuse me. Accentuating. Um, thank you. Accentuating. It's about highlighting who you are, and and making yourself feel good. You know, and and that's what 
Phoenix products are about. That's what I love them so much. Yeah. It's it's about bringing your inner colors out. It's about exactly. bringing your inner beauty out. Exactly. Well, thank you, Chris, so much for you know being on my channel and of course. for um, sharing with all of us. I really we, I really appreciate that, and of I know course. I know everyone else out there appreciates it too. And um, I hope that you loved your little makeup over. Yes, I had a blast. I know that I did. <laughs> And um I'm gonna show all my buddies and they're gonna be like, What did you do? And I'm like, I went pretty <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much. Love you. Bye. Bye.